many times when it comes to creating LLM based apps, whether that's creating AI applications, chatbots, or any sort of agent. It can be quite code intensive and requires a lot of time and resources to actually complete. It's quite hard to also configure it and requires you to put in a lot of time. This is where I introduce to you LLM Stack. This is an open source platform that is used to build AI apps, chatbots, as well as AI agents. Now you might be wondering, what's so special about it? Well, the great part is, is that you're able to build these models with your own data. That is the huge part of this LM stack application when it comes to creating these sorts of apps without the need of coding. You are able to access this off the cloud hosting as well as installing it locally on your hardware. Throughout today's video, we're going to be showcasing what the true potential of LM stack is. We're going to also take a look at how you can install it and go more in depth by exploring LM stack as well as its capabilities. So with that thought, make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video and let's get right to it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at LM stack as you mentioned at the start of this video. This is a no-code platform that is used for building generative AI applications, chatbot agents, as well as connecting them to your own data and business processes. Now, it's a framework to build these new AI experiences or integrating AI into your existing products. Now, LLM Stack is designed to be a modular and extendable application, which allows you to customize it, build upon it, and so much more. Now, it helps you to manage data that can be connected to your large language model application to help you build context aware generative AI applications. You're able to also build tailor made generative AI applications, chatbots, agents that cater to your unique needs by chaining them to multiple different types of LMs, whether they are closed sourced or open source. Now, the great part is, is that it can seamlessly be integrated with your own data as well as GPT powered models without any coding experience using LM stack no code builder and this is something that we'll take a look at later on in the video now this is the great capabilities of what you can access with LM stack so with that thought guys make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video as we'll be going more in depth to taking a look at some of the cool features of this application as well as showcasing how you can install it locally if you guys would like to access our private discord in which you can get exclusive subscriptions for free for AI tools, definitely take a look at this link in the description below in which you can get a private discord, which also has collaboration, giveaways, networking opportunities, and so much more. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of news as well as a lot of content being posted here, which will definitely benefit you as you will definitely be up to date with the latest AI content. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. So with that thought, let's get right back into the video. Now guys, before we actually go more in depth, into what LM stack is actually about. We're gonna actually showcase how you can install it first. Once we showcase the installation, we can move forward with the other steps in showcasing what the application is about, how you can use it and so much more. But with that thought, let's get to the installation. First things first, you're gonna need the prerequisites fulfilled. You'll need Python version 3.8 and above. You need to make sure that you have this installed and I'll leave this link in the description below. You'll also need VS code, which is gonna be used to edit the code. And lastly, you'll need uh, Git, which is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Now, once you have all these re prerequisites fulfilled, we can get started. Now, one thing to note is that you're able to access this off their cloud offering, which is completely free. Now, this is the method that I'll be showcasing later on in the video, but you're also able to install it locally, which we'll do currently right now. Now, what you want to do first is scroll up, click on this green button, copy this link. Now, what you have to do next is open up your command prompt. It's fairly easy. Just type in command prompt if you have Windows. And what you want to do now is type in git clone and paste the link over here. Now, I did not do that properly and then click enter. Now, this will start cloning the repository onto your desktop or wherever you have it saved. Now, this will take a couple seconds, but once this is done, I'll be right back. Now, once it has finished cloning, what you need to do is type in CD LM stack 
and this is to get into the actual folder of lm stack and what we'll need to do now is start unpacking and installing the requirements it's fairly easy you just copy this code over here and paste it back in and this will take a couple of seconds to minutes depending on your hardware it's going to start installing the requirements that are needed to start running lm stack on your local computer now it's going to take a while but once it has finished installing i'll be right back now for the next step is you need to actually configure your open ai api key and it's fairly easy you just need to open up vs code what you need to do is go into your file create a new window and once you have this new window opened up click on open folder find lm stack once you have found and opened that folder up you need to go into your dot n file it will say dot n dot p something else but you just need to remove the .p and just keep it as .env. Now, what you need to do now is set your API keys as well as whatever uh, LM or whatever application or tools that you'll be using alongside with LM stack. Now, once you have actually inputted these keys, you'll be able to start running it after you save it as a .env file. And it's simple as that. You just got to click save, copy this command over here, go on to your command prompt, and you'll be able to start running it and just like that you'll be able to access it off your local host like this and this is something that we're going to take a look at take a look at some of the demos later on in the video but now let us actually take a look at some of the cool features that are associated with uh, lm stack as there's really cool features that are associated with this application first things first is that you're able to chain multiple different models which lm stack allows you to chain and it's going to be used to help you create stronger and better ai agents with complex infrastructure you're able to use generative ai on your documents as well as your own data and this is by importing different files which they have stated over here you're able to import csv files text files pdfs documents and so many others so this is really really cool as this gives you this platform to apply your own data to create whatever sorts of models or different types of apps that you want with lm stack you have the no code builder which is allowing you to build these apps without any sort of code you're able to deploy it on the cloud as well as on your own local host you're able to have api access which is built upon within lm stack which lets you input different api endpoints and it lets you like chain it to other applications like stat slack whatsapp and discord you have a multi-tenant and this is lm stack is a multi-tenant basically meaning that you can create multiple organizations and add users to it so this basically allows you to have a collaborative effort within lm stack now they also have a section as to what you can build with lm stack they have different types of chatbots that could be created in this case they have a couple examples in this uh, example you have text generation in which allows you to build apps that can generate product descriptions blog posts news articles and so much more you're able to develop different types of chatbots that could be trained on your own data and they stated that it could be as powerful by incorporating chat gpt and they have this description of a chatbot being created with it and this is just a small demo that you can check out on their page now another cool thing is the multimedia generation which allows you to build complex applications that can generate text images videos audio and so much more now this is very useful for a lot of people because you cannot access this type of technology for free in an open source environment usually now another cool feature is the conversational ai search augmentation as well as the discord and slack bots so you can see that they provide a lot of different types of tools and capabilities within lm stack and this could be very very beneficial for a lot of people they have a good breakdown as to how you can basically get started how you can incorporate different types of lms different tools such as 11 labs for audio stability ai incorporating their visual encoders as well as incorporating google search different large language models and so much more you're able to incorporate different types of apps plugins that could be associated with lm stack to help create different types of agents you have different data sources in which you can incorporate not only just local files but you're also able to incorporate urls that con that have content such as notion as well as other text reader apps 
you have different APIs that could be streamlined into LM stack as well as deploying it onto your local host and exporting it into different workflows they also have a good guide list as to how you can do certain things so if you're interested in this they have a lot of content that will definitely help you guys out and that's basically it for the capabilities now let's get to the next step of the video where we'll dive a little bit deeper into showcasing what the ui is like as well as going more in depth by taking a look at what you can actually accomplish with this so once you have started this up you're able to see that there is a bunch of different app templates that you can quickly get started with and it allows you to get a basic idea as to what you can create as well as what you can do with it you can see over here you can create a website chatbot you can easily just click on it and create this app which we'll do later on but you can scroll down a little bit and you can see that you can create a new app from scratch you can create a web app which is provided to take in web apps that takes user inputs and returns it into rendered outputs in a provided template you're also able to create a chatbot and this is a chat application with an embedded widget that can be used as a chatbot you can see down you have apps that could be shared upon with other people in which you can collaborate with you have your own apps over here and this is something that is very very user friendly now if you go to the settings this is where you're able to input your different api keys uh the, your prompt token could be used to export it to different workflows uh you have different lms different uh, tools that could be incorporated within this application now this is the great thing about this so i highly recommend that you try playing around with many of these different api keys to start building different types of things if you click on history it gives you a good background as to what you had created previously if you are to click on data you're able to import different types of data sources and this is something that you can do at a maximum size of 20 mb but it doesn't just restrict you to that you can upload multiple different files which is really really good now you're also able to input different types of web links which we talked about and that is through the application you're able to discover what other people have generated over here people have done a lot of cool things created a file chat character chat with different types of fun characters that are associated within tv pop culture you have a resume generator you have many different types of things that people have done so if this is something that you want to look towards you can definitely play around with it uh, you have a playground in which you can start getting started with creating and generating certain types of chatbots in this case you have different api providers that you can start playing around with as well as the api backend that you can start working with now in this case you can just go simply to the app we're going to start creating something random from i believe not from scratch but from the templates so in this case we're going to create a website chatbot which is easy create this trap app you can start off by incorporating a welcome message in this case you're able to also have assistant image that could be used for the chatbot so i'm gonna set this up and i'll be right back so guys, what I have done is that I created the configuration for the chatbot, added some data to it. I actually added a YouTube link from my about page to give a good context as to what I'm creating this chatbot about, which is a chatbot for the channel. And then I finished it up with some final touches. And then you can preview it right over here. It says, greetings, welcome to the world world of AI chatbot. And I'm going to ask it this about what the about page is. So i'm gonna go back over here i'm gonna ask it what is world of ai and let's see if it's able to respond and world of ai is a channel that focuses on the creative use of artificial intelligence which is exactly what i provided that is absolutely amazing and it does a good job in terms of previewing this chatbot now you're able to go into the history to see what was done in that session you're able to run tests by creating different types of versions of it and the versions over here can be multiplied into different efforts you're able to integrate it into a website api discord slack bot twilo and so much more guys this is really really cool as it's completely free and it gives you a lot of customization to help you create these different chatbots ai apps and so much more and that's basically it for today's video guys 
I hope you found this video to be quite beneficial for you and you got some sort of value as to what LM Slack is actually about. I'll leave all the links in the description below, but this is a very, very easy way for you to create your own AI apps, chatbots, and generate your own type of AI agent with your own data. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you would like to access our private Discord for many different types of features. If you guys would like to follow World of AI, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.